time in this video i'm going to talk about point how to draw a point how to draw different kinds of a point with that being said let's begin first let's go to the navigation bar let's do a zoom all make sure that we can see the major grid we can see the small grid and then let's go to the Go to set the grid. Go to here, and uh, here is the grid snap setting. So I want to change the grid spacing one, one by one. Is okay. Okay. Let's push the mouse wheel down a little bit to make sure that. We can see more big grid and small grid. So the origin is around here. So we are going to use the, the point two, the point two to draw the point. We're going to put a point here. This is going to be zero zero, and put a point here. This is going to be five five. You know the minor grid is one. Here is a five, and we're going to put another one. Here is a ten, and another one is a fifteen. We're going to put a zero zero five five ten ten fifteen fifteen. Where can we find the home two? We can go to the home tab and draw a panel, and click the triangle. Extend the uh, the. This panel we are going to see here. There are four points. So in AutoCAD 2021, it is a multiple point. We can use it to draw multiple points. We can also simply use the command window tab in point. Let's try to do it. Point. Okay, it's here. Let's hit enter. Select this. Look at the command window. Let's specify a point. First, I want to put a point at origin 0, dot 0, and hit enter. So I want to keep doing, so I can do a uh, keep, keep typing a point command, P-O-N-T, and hit enter. Let's put another point. Point is going to be five mm, five. Okay, right now we can see it because here is hard to see. Actually, it's zero. So if I want to keep doing that, I can simply hit space key. So this is going to repeat the same command. Let's put uh, another point here. This one is going to be a ten ten ten. Okay, let's keep doing, put another one, hit space key on your keyboard, put 15, and 15, okay, here is a little bit small, and uh, right now I'm going to change the, the style of the point, and uh, let's type in P5, PYP. So there is a prompt. So let's hit enter, activate it. So we so look at the point spell. So I want to select select this one. This is a square. So we can also change the size of the point. I want to keep the default right now. It's five five percent relative to screen. It okay. Let's see what change. Okay, you see that the point actually uh, are showing in a square style. So let's try to change it again. I, I want to type in P type the enter. So this time I'm going I'm going to set the point side in our absolute unit. 
So this unit is the unit that we are using here. At the bottom screen and decimal. Decimal is the unit, uh, it's kind of a unit that we want to set. It's uh, actually the unit grid. Let's do this. And here it is the file, right? It's the file file unit. Let's see what happened. I'll hit OK. Okay, it's going to be file, right? Here in the file, we noted that this grid sign actually the size is exactly the same size as the major grid. So it means that uh, the size is the unit, unit, unit size that we used. So if the unit, if we set the decimal right here, it means that we're going to the unit of the grid. So the size is 5, it means that there are 5 minor grid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's not uh, so clear. Actually, we can basically we can see it. So we can also hit hit space key and activate the the point style and uh, if we want to change another style, let's say I want to change this style. So circle, there is the cross. I select this one and hit OK. If you want to change the size, you, you can change it. Let's say I want to change the size to two unit. It's kind of two unit means that two small grid. You know, OK? OK. So now we can exactly see right the diameter of the circle is two grid two grid okay that's it thank you very much for watching if you have any question please feel free to let me know